All right, Jim. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kyle Cease, and you're watching Comedy Time. You know, being a host here is a big honor, and we had some footage of the people that didn't quite make it. Take a look. <laughs> Comedy Time auditions, take one. <laughs> hey. Hey, everybody, that was a comic, a, com a comedian. Hey, do you ever notice how fat my mom is? Here's a clip. That was only one audition. Here's a clip. It was inside the box, but then I went outside of it. Here's a clip. You keep thinking I'm done, but I'm not. Here's a clip. Psych! <laughs> I'm going to keep talking. Remember that in elementary school? Hey, you're cool. Psych, I hate you. <laughs> we need psych again. I wish we had that at job interviews. You know, Johnson, you got the job. Psych, we're full here, bitch. Can I say bitch? I don't know. Here's your next clip. Hi, I'm Penelope Lombard. I'm originally from Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. And if you want to laugh and you want to cry, stay tuned to Comedy Time. I'm at least going to make you cry. So my parents were just visiting. That's a little sad, right? I'm from Michigan. We're a little square there. And my parents were hanging out in Beverly Hills for all of two days. And my mom goes, your father would like a pair of those capri pants. <laughs> I was like, um, Dad, those pants are for women. And he goes, no, no, no. I saw a very nice looking young man wearing a pair. <laughs> now what are those called? And I'm like, gay pants. <laughs> Don't tell mom. And then my mom's like, no, you're just being negative. And I always got that, that I was the negative child, just because when I was six, I moved all my stuff into the basement so I could be even closer to hell. <laughs> but, uh, you know, here's something I'm not, I'm not really supposed to say this, but I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, my parents are cousins. Uh, it freaks you out, yeah. Uh, they're second cousins, which means I'm my own third cousin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, like, I don't keep in touch with myself, you know? Like, I'll call sometimes because I think I'm fun, but then I don't get me. But I'm nervous because my family reunion's coming up this fall, and I don't want to go because I went last year, and something happened that was kind of embarrassing. I, I had a little too much to drink, and I ended up molesting myself. <laughs> But seriously, if you see me, like, don't believe what I say. I wanted it. <laughs> I wanted it. Yeah. yeah. So my favorite commercial on TV these days, you guys have probably seen it, it's the one where the announcer goes, are you tired of this? And then you see this woman who's trying to jam an entire pizza into a toaster. <laughs> And then what this company has done for this woman is they made this pocket that has pizza in it so she could put it in the toaster. But I was thinking about it. And maybe if your problem is such that you would even try to jam an entire pizza into a toaster, maybe you don't need a Pop-Tart with pizza in it. <laughs> maybe you're gonna need like at-home care. <laughs> And then I love this product, Lunchables. You guys know what that is? A little box of food you give to your kid. You don't open it up. They're set for lunch. You know, no problem. Well, now the new product that they're advertising is that they have breakfasts. Yeah. Same thing. Take it out of the fridge. You know, give it to the kid. You don't have to open it. Little segments of food. And it even says on the ad that it's pancakes and waffles, but you don't have to heat it up. And I was thinking, what better way to say to your child, Mommy doesn't care about you at all. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. That is sad. Yeah. Switch my banking over to Citibank. Anybody bank at Citibank? I went there and they had an excellent slogan. It said, better than expected service. And I was like, wait, better than expected? That's like 
That's not saying it's good. That's kind of like going, yeah, it might suck, but maybe it won't. Right? It's like me running up to the teller and saying, I didn't bounce as many checks as you think. Right? It's, but it's honest. That's what I like about it, is it is honest. So I wrote them a commercial for TV to take the whole honesty thing a step further. It goes like this. Hi, I'm Penelope. I'm part of the Citibank team of underachievers. <laughs> what did you say? I wasn't listening. <laughs> and my other favorite product that's out these days, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, it's called Pimp Juice. Yeah, Pimp Juice. Two words that really shouldn't be together. Now, I know that they use oranges to make orange juice. <laughs> if anybody here knows what they use to make pimp juice, I, I don't want to hear about it, if that would be OK. But I wrote them a commercial, because I'm fair, just to get their product moving. It goes like this. Pimp juice. Now we fortify it with calcium, so when my John beats me, my bones won't break. <laughs> You know, a lot of women in comedy will do that kind of humor, like, oh, what's wrong with men? And, you know, don't you hate men? And, like, men. And um, I would like to be popular. So now I do that. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> don't you hate when your boyfriend finally understands that your stuffed animals have personalities and feelings? <laughs> right? But then, ladies, what does he do? He does the voice, and he screws it all up, right? Because he'll be all like, like, duh, I'm Pookie, and I like your <laughs> Right? And I'm like, um, OK. First of all, that is not Pookie's voice. <laughs> and secondly, Pookie would never say that, ever. Because Pookie would be like, like, um, Hey, Penelope. <laughs> You're so funny. Sometimes it's intimidating to men. <laughs> right? That would be pooky. <laughs> but I just hate it when people don't get that stuffed animals have their own personalities and feelings, and that is why I am so upset that as of this year, this season, because of childhood obesity, maybe you guys know this, Sesame Street is forcing Cookie Monster to say, cookies are a sometimes food. <laughs> well, here is my message to Cookie Monster. You be you. <laughs> yeah, and if you need a safe haven, you come to my apartment. There's lots of cookies, and sure, they may be hidden. <laughs> but you are a Cookie Monster. You will find them, or you will kill me. <laughs> Right? That's the monster part, right? And plus, it's like, why are they blaming Cookie Monster for childhood obesity? I mean, I don't think it's healthy to live in a trash can, but nobody's blaming Oscar the Grouch for the homeless problem, <laughs> right? I don't think it's mentally stable to have a 30-year relationship with an imaginary friend who's a woolly mammoth named Snuffleupagus, and yet nobody is blaming Big Bird for the drug problem. <laughs> Yeah, and we know he's high. <laughs> and on a more personal note, I really hate when men who clearly are gay won't admit it, but nobody's blaming Bert and Ernie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and obesity is a problem. It is a problem in this country, and there is a reason that I take very seriously, and that is that cookies are delicious. Yeah. Solve that, and we'll figure it out. All right, so... Uh, let me leave you with a joke. I, uh, I'm starting to think of sex the same way I think of Santa. <laughs> Even after you find out it's not like exactly how people explained it, you still go along with it just to get the presents. <laughs> Am I right? Thank you. Good night.